Okay, <coughs> Rocket Pods are painted up, uh, primed with black, just uh, flat black, no need to gloss for a, uh, for the weapon, I didn't want them that shiny, and I just used different uh, shades of AK, Extreme Metal, Steel, Titanium, Dark Aluminium, Stainless Steel. Uh, paint it up and then mix, put in a darker color and sprayed it randomly over the uh, pod to give it different uh, color shade and uh, once that was done I mixed some uh, Tammy smoke with a touch of black, flat black in it just to uh, spray around where the rockets come out to uh, dirty it up they're still going to have a wash yet so that's just after paint and I gave them a clear coat with the gauzy I find this works well on uh, metal paint uh, I airbrush it on I think you can brush it on but I just use airbrush All right, so I've primed the model with uh, AK Black uh, Primer Micro Filler. Next up, I will be doing the uh, underside color on this. Call out is for RLM 65 Light Blue, which is H67 in uh, the Mr. Hobby color. This will be, uh, so I'll spray the blue and then mask that off. And I'll have to do the rear doors as well as a separate, <clears throat> so I have to align that up so it all meets up. Blue is down. So you uh, use a marbling mottling technique on it uh, so it looks grubby uh, I'm going to give it a clear gloss coat now and then I'm going to mask it off I'll use uh, Tamiya tape to mask it because it's a hard edged uh, demarcation between the blue to the camouflage colour uh, I did the Doors. I just sat them on there, held uh, just a bit of tape to hold them there so I could line it up with the tail. So, yes, I'll do the masking up and then we'll move on to the camouflage. I've got the brown painted on now. Uh, I do not have the specific colour call out, so I mix my own. I looked at the images, some images online of these helicopters and you can look at 10 different helicopters with this scheme and they'll be different colours so I wouldn't worry about it too much, I don't anyway, so I just mixed uh, Mr. Hobby H310 Brown with uh, Tamiya Buff XF57, it's just a 50-50 mix once that was down then I lightened it with some white and randomly sprayed over it. Again, I did the mottling, marbling technique to create that illusion of a dirty aircraft. Next up is the green, which I do have the correct color call out, which is uh, H303 in Mr. Hobby color. It's just great called Greens FS34102. Uh, again, because I've hard edged, hard uh, masked blue to the camo, I'm going to do a similar thing with the, the demarcation line between the brown and the green, but not, not tape. I'm just going to use uh, Pans Putty. Uh, it's, you can do anything with it. 
roll it, uh, keep it flat. This is more so probably what I want it for. Keep it, follow the uh, camo flage edge. The only thing with it is when you use it, if you put it on a surface, so you mask an area and you walk away and leave it, this stuff keeps settling down. So it gradually settles down so it'll go over where you want it to. Not That doesn't do it straight away, but if you're like, oh, I'm going to mask it today and paint tomorrow, you that, that won't work. Uh, I'm going to just do it in sections for that reason. Just take my time. It's a bit of a complex uh, curved areas to, to mask around all the lumps and bumps. So just take it easy, take my time, watch not to knock off all the small parts that are on there already. Okay, so we got the green on. It's really looking the goods now. I'm loving it now. But painting is my favorite part of a build. As with many people, I guess, but uh, so yes, I use the Panzer Putty. Uh, did the green, <clears throat> same method as the other colours, and then I added some yellow to the green to uh, suggest fading, and then randomly sprayed that over. Uh, so now I'll give it a clear gloss coat. Uh, on the camouflage and I can remove the mask um, but still heaps to go I've still got all the, the wheel legs uh, exhaust uh, systems and whatnot ideally you paint that as you're doing all this but I'm not really like that I like to focus on something and I can come back and do other stuff Otherwise, it gets a bit monotonous. I uh, also painted the uh, weapon pylon mounts with the. Uh, I, I did the blue underneath and then I just masked the sides of the pylons and then just sprayed it the top, the camouflage colour. 